Hi and welcome to Lab Advantage. In this video, we'll be presenting the introduction to X controls video that was conducted during the first Indian Lab Users Group meeting. Now, first of all, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm a certified LabVIEW Archit architect, uh, LabVIEW champion, and LabVIEW training and certification expert. I've been able to produce 140 CLDs and a CLA. So about Graphitex, uh, we have been founded generally to meet the requirements for the LabVIEW users to gain CLD and CLA certifications. Uh, the following uh, presentation is an excerpt from the CLA preparation training that is conducted by Graphitex. Uh, now let us continue with our demo. Uh, in the previous video, we are just uh, creating our user interface. As you can see, the cluster is the uh, front panel for the control instance, while the slider will be the front panel for the indicator instance. Now in the block diagram, we'll place both of the controls outside. Uh, there are many different events over there. Uh, first of all, what we need to do it is we need to create the user event for the uh, control. Uh, once we have added the event case, now we'll be writing the particular code for that particular control. In this case, the cluster uh, new value output, I can unbundle and then I can get the uh, two values coming from the A and B control, as you can see. Uh, a is the dial while B is the numeric control. Now if you look here like uh, the code is same so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the previous code I've written and then just connect it through. This way now I'm able to uh, get my output. Now that will go into my data out and at the same time I need to tell the X control that the data has been changed. Uh, so how I can do it is if you look on the bottom it's called accent cluster so I'm going to insert bundle by name. I'm just going to uh, change the flag to true. Okay. So this is going to trigger the uh, another event. And at the same time, I'm going to use the local variable to update the value over there. And similarly, I'll go now go to the data change. This will take place. And here I need another local variable to update the value of the slider. So create local variable and I'll connect it. Now I should be able to test my code. So whenever the event uh, takes place, it is going to update the values in the slider. So what I'm going to do it is I'm going to save this code and then close it. And I'm going to create a new X control test VI on which I'll be testing my X control. So I'm going to write the name X control test. Now what we are going to do it is I'm going to drag uh, the control. As you can see, the control and indicators are visible at the same time. Don't worry about that. We are going to make some changes over there. Now I'm going to create indicator. As you can see, when I create the indicator in the uh, front panel, I'll see both uh, the same user interface at the moment I'm going to create a loop so that like I would be able to test my code uh, continually. Now my code is ready to be tested. I'll go to the front panel as you can see if I change the values since it is multiplied when I make changes as you can see the indicators are being updated. Now what we're going to do it is like uh, we just need to modify the appearance uh, for the control and indicator. And we actually do that by modifying the direction change event which is the built-in feature of the X control. As you can see whenever the direction has been changed you actually get the state value for the indicator over there. So if the control instance is in the indicator uh, this flag uh, the boolean flag will be true and then the false for the control instance. So what we need to do is we need the visible uh, property for both. The slider is the indicator instance, so that will be true. And the uh, cluster is basically my control instance, so I'm going to connect the not get over there. So my code is complete and my X control is complete as well. So what we are going to do it is uh, we are going to save the code. As you can see, I'm just like walking you through the codes. 
everything is perfect. Now our code is complete. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to close the X control and now we'll be testing the code now. So I'm going to open this VI, delete. As you can see, the appearance has been updated automatically. Uh, it is no longer showing the both instances, but what I'm going to do it is like I'll start from the scratch. So I'm going to drag the X control and I'm going to make a copy of that one and then create that into indicator. As you can see, uh, both of them are the same control, but uh, based on the state, uh, the appearance is going to be different. Now I'm just going to check which one has to be on the top and so on. So the odd numbers are my controls and then the even numbers are my indicators in this context. So I'm just going to connect all of them. And I now I just need to connect the wires. And now the testing time. So I'm going to run the VI and I'm going to change the values. As you can see now you can able to uh, make modifications of your values and then see it. So as you can see like the benefit of using the X control is uh, your code is going to be encapsulated inside inside the X control. This adds modularity. Now we'll go back to our slides. Uh, now to summarize, uh, your front panel is going to be facade and then the output of your code is going to be data. Uh, similarly, the control and indicator instances can be different uh, based on the direction change state. And in the next, next slide, uh, we'll see the difference between the implementation of X control and without the X control. As you can see, we, with using X control, it is much more cleaner. Other features of the X control is you can implement the property nodes and method nodes you can create on your own. Uh, finally, like uh, even if you know X control, it does not mean it is going to be useful in each and every instance. Uh, so you should use X control if uh, your controls are going to be highly reused. Uh, similarly, you need to encapsulate encapsulate your extended functionality, and you want the control and indicator appearances to be different. Uh, if you are using for a single application or just for the appearance of the control, don't go with X control because uh, the memory overhead is going to be high. Uh, some other caveats are X control cannot be used uh, on the RTVIs and they cannot also be part of the data type of any object oriented programming classes. Uh, the following are the resources where you can start with uh, your uh, X control programming and so on. Uh, similarly, there are other trainings available from National Instruments and GraphTex itself. Uh, if you are choosing the ENI training, there's advanced architecture in LabVIEW. Uh, the link is provided over there. Uh, similarly, you can take the CLA and CLD preparation trainings from GraphTex. Uh, we provide the complete solution for the CLD, CLA, and CLA with actor framework preparation. Uh, we are also promoting the yoga tools from Sadhguru. This is the free app available from the Isha Foundation. Uh, you can download this app uh, free from App Store or the Google Play Store. Uh, it is free and uh, there are seven practices uh, for the improvement of your health, success, well-being, peace, joy, inner exploration and love. I hope you like this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for future lab videos.